Bedford versus Charles Bennett. Once again, you know, Johnny Bedford does have the experience factor being the champ, a little bit of a reach advantage right now, but I think this is going to be right in the middle. He doesn't want to use length. He wants to stay in the middle and bang this one out. Biloxi, we are set for the next fight of the night. Scheduled for five two-minute rounds in the bare-knuckle welterweight division. Presented to you by Rude, nothing but trouble. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner. Tonight, he wears red trimmed in black. His official weight, 147 pounds. He is an MMA veteran of 73 professional fights and steps into the squared circle for the second time as a bare-knuckle fighter. Fighting out of Ocala, Florida. Here is Felony Charles And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. Tonight, he wears white. His official weight, 143.8 pounds. As a bare-knuckle fighter, he is undefeated at 4-0. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the current Police Gazette American bare-knuckle lightweight champion and your BKFC world lightweight champion from Fort Worth, Texas, Bruno Johnny Benford. And our referee in charge of the action, Wayne Spinola. So often in combat sports, animosity, heat, dislike is manufactured. Not in this fight, it is genuine, but Bedford dislikes Bennett a lot more than Bennett dislikes Bedford. Both fighters up to scratch, the bell in round number one. Rapid fire start from Johnny Bedford, he's in the white trunks, red trunks for Charles Bennett. And I think Bedford was you know, very accurate to what he said, he can't let his emotion get in here. If he goes out there and opens himself up, they only can knock him out. See the feints, the level changes from Bedford. Putting out the jab. It was the right step in hook from Bennett off the mark. This is with that uppercut. It was an interesting right thing. Hand. Bedford throwing these, these feints, and, and Felly doesn't seem to be reacting to him very much. He might just want to come in with a good double jab right hand and see if he can't land that on Felly. And it's very low for Charles Bennett. Backs off his striking line, resets his feet. Switches stances from Southpaw back to Orthodox for Bennett. Straight right hand. Touch the chin, didn't fully land. Two big swings, two big misses from Bennett. 65 seconds remaining round number one. I'd like to see Bennett turn some of those punches underneath. Johnny Bedford's dropping his head right there. If he could throw some uppercuts, those are best chance of landing in a big punch in this fight. And that's what Bennett talked about, the leaping rear uppercut. Hasn't landed it yet. He's thrown it just once and it wasn't leaping. Yeah, it's hard to throw a leaping uppercut right there. You have to really expose your chin. Right to the body. That in the sternum landed with the right hand of Bedford. Not an effective punch really in MMA or regular boxing. That can be a very effective punch in bare knuckle. Mouth wide open and you see the clowning from Bennett. Bennett's trying to be wide open right now. He wants Bedford to jump in so he can land a big punch right there, but he's not able to land it right now. He's got to really aim that and he's not even really throwing it too much. Big swings, nothing landing in that sequence from Bedford. Very much putting Bennett on his back foot. That right hand gets through. Now the infighting half plump. Looks like a little bit of a headbutt right there. Almost a full plump. And that's the end of round number one. And Bedford is cut outside of his left brow. Well, if Bedford wants to, I think he can just come through with a couple jabs and hand land a hard right hand. He doesn't need to come with big punches right away. He needs to step that up with the jab and step in, just like he did right there. Right to the body. And go back to what Bennett said. I'm going to hold center of the ring, make Bedford come to me. Trying to do some more in round number two. I mean, as far as the strategy for what Bennett has right there, he just has to land a punch. He just has to counter. He's, he's, he's creating openings right there. He's Big right hand and down goes Bennett. Rule the slip by Wayne Spinola. See, that's that right hand gets through and that uppercut lands big from Bennett. Because Bennett, or, he's doing a good job of counting right there. Bedford is not setting this up with jab. He's just throwing bombs right now. He's got to set it up. Straight right hand. Better stuff though. Round number two from Charles Bennett. 
Finding that uppercut. Throwing it from his hip. Exactly. Has his hands way down at the ground right now. Way down at his waist. He's waiting to counter right there. He's a little bit fast. Oh, he's got to be careful. And it cut. Not only in his left brow, that cut open in round number one, cut under his right eye now here in round number two. Left hand gets through, not full power. 50 seconds remaining. Better right hand from Bedford there. Counter right back. Bedford looks a little hurt right now. He's got to be careful. So two cuts on the face of Johnny Bedford. Lands that right hand, clipping. Straight left. Good right Resetting. Felony is tough. Those punches just eating clean shots are not really even affecting him at this point. Picard getting through another right hand on the left. Big shots clipping right on the counter from Bennett. The fighters turning up the temperature. That is ruled a knockdown. Look what happens. Bennett standing over Bennett. There's the count from Spinola. Again, you cannot be saved by the bell at any round. Uh, looks like he's going to say his hand is hurt once again. Bedford's very happy. Just what he predicted. He's going to find a way out from that. Spinola waves off this fight. Bennett saying that his hand is injured, essentially indicating that Spinola physically, not verbally, he cannot continue. Not without adversity, but the win for Johnny Bedford. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee in charge, Wayne Spinola, steps in and calls a stop to the fight at two minutes into round number two. Your winner by K.O. Bruno! John